All right. Hey, folks, I hope you all are doing well. Let me get the Facebook going here and we will get started real quick. Make sure that I'm live. I think I am. There we go. Yep. Okay. So uh, mini recorders or capture card devices. Actually, one's called a mini recorder. Uh, capture devices, your video capture device for live video or even just video in general. Here's the thing. When I got started in live video, I really wanted to use an, a high definition camcorder that I have. Um, and it's a great camcorder. It's a Canon Vixia HD GF30, I think is what it's called. Uh, and I bought it a few years ago to use with one of my businesses and I didn't really get to using it with that business. And actually I have two of these cameras. Um, but, uh, I wanted to use one of them to plug in and go directly to live video instead of using a webcam or the camera that's built into, uh, any of my devices. So, uh, I figured, uh, not being a tech guy, uh, I figured that you would be able to run a cord directly from your camcorder into your computer, which I'm using Max. Uh, but that's not the case and that the computer would recognize the video and that's just not the case. You need what's called a capture card to uh, work in between and it kind of, um, I guess it kind of tricks the computer into thinking that it's a, a USB input. Um, so what I'm using is out of the camcorder, I'm using an HDMI output and I go into one of the two capture cards that I've tried. Now there's a bunch of capture cards and devices on the market. I've tried two. So we're gonna talk about the two I've tried because they're very popular choices because of the price and the simplicity of use. So uh, I think they're a, they're a good starting point for a lot of people who are wanting to do live streaming or capture video from their camera and uh, into their computer. Um, but uh, there's some advantages and disadvantages to each of these. And we'll talk about that. I actually touched on this yesterday in a video that I did kind of on the fly. I did a, a tricast uh, with my iPods um, and broadcast it out to Instagram live, Facebook live and Periscope. Right now, this is just a broadcast for Facebook and for YouTube, but, um, and I wanted to do a nicer broadcast than with just the iPads and have some lower thirds and some extra information so that this video can be shared or uh, used uh, in the future. Um, and it's already got the uh, the lower thirds on it, which is really nice. Let's people know what they're watching. But anyway, um, I, I bought one capture card when I first got started doing live video, and that is the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. Um, and let me, I had to look and make sure that I was getting that correct because it's such a long name for this device. Blackmagic Design is the company that makes this. They make good stuff. And this is called the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. There's no battery inside this. It's powered by a lightning jack that plugs in uh, with lightning into your Mac uh, desktop or your laptop. Or if you've got a PC, I'm sure it connects the same way. And that's how it's powered. When it's powered, this lights up on this end. There's a... Oops, there's a little, a little dot uh, right there. It's hard to see. There's a little light that shines through. And um, actually the whole end kind of lights up when it's on. On the other end, uh, and that's how it connects and gets its power and sends information into uh, your computer. On the other end is an HDMI input. And so you're gonna use an HDMI out of your camcorder and directly into this unit. So when you turn on your camcorder or your DSLR camera or whatever, um, your computer should recognize it. Now, one of the, I was gonna talk about the drawbacks of each device uh, because this is a great starter device uh, before we even get into drawbacks. Uh, this is a hundred, right now it's $137. I think I paid a little bit more for it. It might've been about $20 more expensive when I bought it about a year ago. Um, but it's, uh, it was $137 yesterday on Amazon. And of course, if you've got Prime, it's delivered almost the next day and um, for free. Uh, so it's a great price for this unit, but it has uh, drivers and you have to install drivers uh, to run it. And sometimes you have to configure the drivers and get them just right to get this unit to cooperate with both your computer and any software that you might be using to receive the video information coming in, uh, the signal. Um, the other unit I've bought, and I've bought three of these now. I have two of them here at the uh, studio but I have one on its way and it's called, uh, it's by a company called Magewell. Magewell, I guess it's Magewell, M-A-G-E-W-E-L-L. -L. And it's called a USB capture HDMI. So it's got pretty much a uh, generic name because that's exactly what it does. It takes the HDMI in on one end 
and it has USB out on the other end and the USB goes into the computer. Um, so instead of using lightning, which this one uses, this one uses USB and I use a USB 3.0 uh, cord, uh, which I think is the best USB cord right now that you can get, uh, at least at a consumer level that I'm aware of. Um, and it works very nicely. This does not have drivers, so you don't have to configure it like this one. You have to configure this to get along with both your computer and the software that you're using. This one, um, you don't have to configure it at all. Uh, and I'm going to make it so I can see Facebook comments. If, whoop, let's turn off the volume. Okay. So this one, uh, no drivers, this one drivers. Now, the reason why I talked about this yesterday and I'm talking about it today again is um, that I bought a piece of software, $100 piece of software called ScreenFlow by a company called Telestream. And ScreenFlow allows you to edit your videos and do all sorts of effects and cool things. And I actually have Adobe Premiere Pro and I can probably do a lot of it in Adobe as well, but ScreenFlow is made to capture multiple devices at one time, which includes the microphone. It includes the um, it includes the um, the microphone, the video. I can plug in an, an iPhone or an iPad. I can capture the screen on my computer, so I can do a lot of interesting things with um, with uh, ScreenFlow that I might not be able to do with Premiere Pro. And ScreenFlow is built to do that and to do it intuitively. So even if Premiere Pro can do it, and I'm, I'll find out at some point, um, I like ScreenFlow because of its simplicity. But anyway, uh, so I had this running between my camcorder and my computer to bring the signal in from the camcorder. And so when I would bring up ScreenFlow and choose the camcorder as a device that I wanted to have uh, inputted into ScreenFlow, uh, it would, in the preview screen, it would give me a picture from my camcorder. However, when I would go to record, I would get nothing as far as video goes. And I toiled with this for like half a day. And uh, I buy the Telestream premium support uh, for all the products that I buy from them. I have Wirecast and I have uh, ScreenFlow. Uh, and the premium support is well worth the, whatever they're charging for, 100 bucks, I think for Wirecast, I think it was cheaper for ScreenFlow. Um, because you can call them and get a tech and oftentimes it's somebody very uh, good and who's out in the live video space anyway. Um, and so it's fun. You're, you're talking to people who are out there and are movers and shakers in the live video world. Anyway, um, I, I finally broke down after, cause I try to figure these things out on my own and learn it on my own if I can, uh, because I find that if I tinker with the tool, then, uh, I oftentimes find what's going on and can resolve it on my own. And it helps me learn the software. Um, or the hardware for that uh, matter. But anyway, I gave up and I called uh, Telestream. And, you know, I got past the, the first person who kind of screened you and asked you some questions so that they can send you on to the, pro the appropriate tech. And the tech got on the phone and he's like, I already know what your problem is. He says, you have that black magic mini recorder. And because of the drivers in the mini recorder, it does not, this mini recorder does not jive with ScreenFlow at all. Okay. Not one bit. So, um, I had to decide. I have two of these already, and if I'm using ScreenFlow, I probably am not going to have to use both of them for something else. So I could actually unhook and hook, you know, hook it up for ScreenFlow use, and then unhook it and put it back for other uses that I actually had bought them for. But I don't like unhooking and hooking and unhooking and moving things around. Okay, so um, I had to buy another one. And the, the downside is, like I said, I, I don't remember if I talked about the price of the other one, but this one's 137, right? It basically does the same thing as this one does, but this one's 300, okay? So it's a significantly more expensive device to buy this one. Uh, but it's plug and play. There's no drivers. Um, it powers the same way this one does um, by attaching to a computer. And it basically sends a signal, but it's not the same signal. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. This, well, we'll just go ahead and get to it now. The signal that this one sends is better. Uh, the video quality I get when I use this as opposed to when I use the black magic, I think is far superior. Um, but it's hard to tell because I can't watch them both side. I mean, I guess I could try to make a recording and compare them side by side, but you know, I, it would just be my eyes that would be able to tell the difference. And I'm not sure that having them side by side would be enough, but 
Uh, so I contacted a friend of mine who is a live video and just video professional in general. Um, and uh, I'm friends with him on Facebook and, and I've met, uh, met him online a few times. He, he's been on my podcast and um, I asked him, I said, am I seeing this correctly? Is this giving me a better video signal and better quality than the black magic? And he said, absolutely. So you're getting something more. So for your $300, so you're paying $170 more, you're getting excellent video quality, superior to at least the black magic mini recorder. Um, but you're also getting um, driverless, which means it's going to cooperate with whatever device you're plugging it into. It's going to cooperate with the software. There's no configuring. There's no pulling your hair out trying to figure out how to get this to work with ScreenFlow, how to get this to work with uh, Wirecast, uh, where this could be problematic. Now, look, look, I like Blackmagic, okay? I've been completely satisfied with this since I bought it. Um, and I still would recommend it. I like it. But if you have the budget, if you're buying a car, capture card and you have the budget, why not just go ahead and get the one that seems better? It's giving me a better video signal. It's driverless. It's, uh, I mean, it's just seamless. It's just great. So you're paying a little money to eliminate some headache and make sure that it's universal. Um, but uh, either one of them are going to be fantastic. So I, I don't know that I have much more to say on this. What's interesting too is, I did this video yesterday when I did the with the iPads when I did just a quick little video about my findings on this, and uh, I happened to get a notification from Cliff Ravenscraft uh, from his Facebook that he was going live talking about video capture cards, and he talked about and I'll show you what he's bought. Um, let's see if I can even see it here. Um, he bought. Let's see where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. All right. So now you see it. He bought um, the Black Magic. I think it's called a web presenter, and he's really happy with it. Okay, um, he it, now this is a five or six hundred dollar unit, and it's made by Black Magic Design. But um, he's he's real happy with it, and it's got some other features. Let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, I don't know if they show. Oh yeah, they do have a screenshot of the back. Um, so it's got some, you know, some basic setup, some connections. It's got a, a, a an XLR line in. So if you want to plug a microphone into it, it's got the uh, the stereo in. So if you want to use your, um, you know, if you want to use that as an input from a receiver, it's got the HDMI loop. It's got uh, SDI inputs. It's got uh, the you can plug a USB right into it, a USB webcam right into it. Um, so it's kind of a nifty little device that he bought. Um, I don't know though, I have to say one of my concerns would be, and I don't know that if Cliff has gotten to the bottom of it or not, but I wonder if the video quality of that studio that Cliff was talking about, and he was talking about the same thing. He was talking about the drivers. I don't think he had a black magic to show you guys. And I don't even know if he had any experience with black magic, but he mentioned a few friends of his Pat Flynn, I think was one of them who used the black magic and he had talked about it. Um, and about their experience slightly, but I don't know if his web presenter is going to give you the same quality video that this does, uh, because this has not as good video quality as this has. Okay. This is much more clear and smooth. You know how, if you go from watching like a movie on HBO to watching like a daytime soap and how the video quality is so much different on the soap opera than on the movie on HBO. That's kind of the difference here. This is kind of like HBO movie where it's recorded and it's it just seems, it's just kind of flat. And this is kind of like daytime soap opera TV where it's vibrant and it, it's almost like you're there. So um, that's the difference. Now, I don't know if the one that I had showed you, let me see if I can bring it up again. Um, yeah, the, uh, the uh, web presenter uh, that Cliff Ravenscraft is using. I'd love to see this thing in action. Um, uh, I didn't even know it existed, but uh, I, I can't say that I'm unhappy that I bought this instead of the web presenter, but I don't need what the web presenter offers. It, it's got a lot of bells and whistles on it that I just don't need uh, because I have other equipment in my studio that does what this does. But um, it's interesting that he just happened to decide to talk about this yesterday when I was talking about it. He, he, he did his video a few hours after I did mine. And I actually watched his video because I was interested in it. And we talked about it. I, I recorded to him, uh, oh, hey, Jim Tracy and uh, Michelle, thanks for joining me. Um, 
so anyway, look, that pretty much exhausts it. Um, if you're wanting to do a live video presentation, or even if you're just wanting to import uh, video in from a DSLR camera, or probably any sort of digital camera or camcorder, and you're wanting to do it and you're recording, and you're not just inputting a recorded video. I mean, if you're just inputting a recorded video, you can just take the card out and slip it into the computer and just shoot the files over. Easy, right? But we're talking about doing it in real time. You're going to need a capture card, okay? So uh, that's my experience. These two capture cards, that's what I've used. I like them both. I would recommend them both. But if you have the budget, the mage well is where I would, what I would buy. I mean, period. It's, and, and I've got a third one coming, um, which almost eliminates my need for this. However, uh, because I'm spoiled and I want to have a live video studio at home so I don't have to come over to my office at night, even though it's just a street over, uh, I don't want to have to come over here to do any sort of live video. I'd rather just go do it at home. It won't be quite as nice of a presentation or, you know, I won't have quite the setup I have here at the studio at my house. But this is going there because I have a second camcorder and I'm going to want to run it right into a Macintosh. I've got a big desk, 27 inch desktop, and I'm going to run and run that camcorder right into it. And this is going to be the device that I use there because the software that I'm using over there, I won't need driverless. So uh, this works just fine with Wirecast. So if you're not using ScreenFlow or, I mean, I know it works with Wirecast. I know it works with OBS. Um, I don't know what else it doesn't work with, but I know it doesn't work with ScreenFlow. So if ScreenFlow is going to be part of your toolkit, get the Magewell. Don't get the Black Magic. All right, with that, I'm going to end it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Thanks for stopping by, commenting, liking, sharing. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. Like, review, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts. If you have any questions, please leave them, and I will answer them. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And the other thing I'd like you to subscribe to, if you're interested in getting more content, I'm going to be doing a lot of exclusive live video style uh, informational content to my email list at Todd.Live. So if you go to Todd.Live, there's going to be a little pop-up. Sign up for my newsletter. If you sign up and confirm it, you're going to get a seven-day marketing uh, live video marketing program that I put together that gives you a lot of the basic considerations on getting started in live video. If that's something you want to do for your personal brand or business or you just want to get out there and, and make friends and build a community, um, it's a good place to start my seven-day live video uh, marketing plan. It's free. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think of it. Right now, it's in text format. I'm likely going to make it in a video format only. And all the videos will be hosted on YouTube and the emails will link you to that so that uh, it's less text and more video, which I think is what people are wanting these days. So listen, with that, I'm going to tune out. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Thank you for spending valuable time out of your day with me to uh, find out about these capture cards. Um, and I, I just have to say I, I greatly appreciate you and I hope you stay productive and do what it is you're wanting to do. Oh, I got a timer going off. And perfect timing because I need to log out. Listen, thank you again. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.